All right. And we're back. We're back. <laughs> Got a little, little bit of a... Um, interruption for a second. Interruption for a second. Section. For a second. All right, so second. for a second, girl. It's the wine. So mm -hmm. look, back to Kate. So Kate. basically, she went out for the audition or whatever, and then when she got scared, yeah. No, she didn't really get scared. She got deterred because all the little skinny chicks in there. And she was just looking at how they were small. And then it took it back to last season where she was at the pool. And the no, girls wrote a her a note. And they called her like a pig or something. And they all walked off without her. So she kind of went back to that. and Which is so true because like I know for me... And I'm pretty sure other people too. Even though like you're an adult and everything now, like I'm an adult now, it's still things from my childhood that still mess with me even though I'm like an adult. And it's like certain things can happen. It'll trigger something that happened back that bothered me when I was a, a kid. But I didn't even think about that. Yeah, so that's, that's what made her go away was the fact that she looked at all the girls that were smaller and she already had in her mind, they're not going to pick me because I'm big not even looking at um you know the voice that she had and truthfully she did not put her all into singing because kate can sing and she did not put her all into singing i can tell you no that. but she needed to practice yeah. but even if she put her all she could not sing better than that chick the other girl that was back up yeah you don't, you ain't like her voice? I love right. powerful voices. Her voice was so powerful. She kind of was like a <laughs> like a whine. Man, her voice was good. Right. That chick can sing. That's why when she started singing, I was like, whoa, because. But then he was like, she was a background singer. Look at her face. Yeah. <laughs> you think Kate sing better than her? Kate, Kate, is she really would like blow? I mean, really let go. She has the quality in well, her voice. Well, she did sing last se season. She did sound good when she was singing at the retirement homes or something. Yeah, yeah. All right, so anyway, she went back in there and sang, basically. Well, first, before we get to that part, she was like, well, she left because, like you were saying, she saw the other skinny girls or whatever, and it bothered her. Mm -hmm. So then she went back, and I think Toby was like, Toby, yeah. he was asking her about it, and she was like, oh, it was okay, or whatever, like lying. Yeah. But she had told her brother the mm. whole time, or whatever, and that's another thing that accept, um, made um, Toby upset, because he was just like, you told him and you ain't telling me? I, I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. And I could see that, because if we're together, then how is it you can't tell me first, mm -hmm. but you can tell your brother? Again, that kind of goes back to she has to really get used to you know i guess you could even though they're not married they like prioritize you know mm -hmm. if this is your man let your man know you know let him know first then you right you make him know. feel all left out and it's not saying like stop talking to your brother or whatever but she needs that balance right now but she's not used to that because she's never i don't know if she's ever like been in like a serious like relationship, relationship. before so she's nah. gonna have to learn that yeah so that's yeah. gonna be a work in progress so yeah. Then he was upset about that, and I think him and Kevin got to arguing outside and stuff. And she was like, "What did she come up here?" She stuff? doesn't need to be cuddled or romanced or something. I don't think. It was yeah, and then so. Toby was mad too because he booked the restaurant out just yeah. for them. Yeah. He, and he, he wanted sit to sit across pay. from her on next to her. Yeah, <laughs> he wanted to sit across. No, he said you want to sit across from her next to her on her lap. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> he was so dumb. <laughs> But I, I get it. He was, you know, he's frustrated because he's competing with her brother. Right, right. And really, her her brother and her deceased father. If you think about it, because she talks about her father, you know, a lot. So yeah, he got some big shoes to fill. Mm -hmm. So I guess they got the arguing outside or whatever. She ended up going back, and she, I think it was over. They were like, "Sorry, yeah. auditions are over" or whatever. And she was like, I guess she was like. What did she say to them? Please just give me a chance or whatever. He was like, go ahead yeah. and sing. She sung or whatever. And I'm like, oh, she about to get in. So they about to be like, oh, we're so glad that we're going to pick you. No. Nah. He's like, okay, thank you. He was like, wah, wah, wah. Dang. So then she walked <laughs> out. 
was starting to walk out, turned back around. She was like, no, I am not going to let you pick some other chick just because she's smaller than me and all this stuff or whatever. And he was like, he walked up to her, looked, called the girl over there, told her to sing. She sang. And she had a powerful voice, even though she disagrees. That girl can blow. She didn't have a powerful voice. Yeah. And so... That's when she just, he was like, it's, he said, I don't care about your size. That has nothing to do with that. And she's the background singer. I'm like, well, what the well, lead she singer went, sound she like She went this? from lead to background. <laughs> and the fact that she oh. had, yeah. And she had a powerful voice. Mm -hmm. But that, like he said, it's, you just don't have, I can't remember the exact words, but, but he, he told basically her to work said, on it, yeah, basically. you need to work on it. You, you lack. And she was, and what made it good when she wasn't even upset about it or whatever, she was just like, at least it wasn't because of my size, yeah. my size or whatever, I'm going to work on it. Yeah, and I think she needed to hear that so that she knew that, okay, so and it's And she not lost sad. weight too. I didn't mention that. I mentioned Toby. Yeah, she did lose some weight. She did yeah. lose some weight. She did lose weight. I'm glad to see Toby all healthy. Mm -hmm. And stuff is oh last season was when he fell. Yeah, man, he face planted on that too. Ooh, he fell hard too. That was rough. Yeah. But alright, so that was basically Kate's whole story, right? Pretty much. Yeah. Storyline. So on to what was Kevin? He basically Kevin was just a floater. He didn't really have too much. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, what's story. this girl? His ex wife name? Um, Sophie. Sophie. Yeah, Sophie. And it's know. crazy how he's been. In, he. That's like. His soulmate for real ever since he was like a kid. Yeah. yeah. And they were married. We found out last season that they yeah, were they had we, married. We didn't even know Kevin was married before last season. Yeah, he was married. They they were divorced, right? Yeah. yeah. They're divorced yeah. or whatever. But it seemed like he's trying to get back with her. Like that is just the one for him. Mm -hmm. Or whatever. So she couldn't come for his birthday, but she ended up surprising him at the end. Yeah. She couldn't so. come because her mother had gotten sick. Her mother has MS. Yeah, so, isn't that what Montel Jordan, Montel Williams, Williams, yeah. Williams has? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Kevin really didn't have too much in the story, um, but Randall. Randall. So yeah. we have, we mentioned how we thought he was adopting the baby, but come to find out it was his neighbors. Then they went to the adoption place, and then. Even, like, when he was in the kitchen and he was talking to uh, his wife or whatever, you could kind of tell that she wasn't feeling it like that then. She yeah. kind of looked like something's off or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then, um, when they went, I guess the person they were talking to at the adoption place, she can kind of basically tell, like, Y'all not, not ready. <laughs> yeah, y'all not on the same page. So she kind of looked and she was like, yeah, it's normal for one person to be more excited about it than the other yeah. or whatever and then what did she say she ended up saying something. she ended up saying uh, something along the lines of yeah because this is what he wants everything he wants is what he wants is what he wants something and then like she that she mentioned something about his father and so how he was adopted or yeah. whatever and stuff yeah. and that's what he's trying to do now and then she just got up and walked out i think her frustration is he's seen where even where his where randall's father had to make the choice to give him up and somebody else came along they raised him and gave him a good life to where he is now um even though he didn't have the opportunity to like know his biological father like that or his mother um it's kind of like you know they uh I guess in a way she's like he's trying to to do something I don't know it's I know what I'm trying to say I don't want to sound like harsh like he's trying to one up what his parents did or do mm. the same thing but I think it's just his way of like giving back to thank his parents that raised him because you know he didn't have um his biological parents to take him in. Mm -hmm. So he just wants to give another child a chance, a chance yeah. like he had. But um, it's kind of like, you know, she kept going, uh, his wife keeps going back to the park where um, his father and her had time. And that's something Is we that didn't why know. she was fake smoking? Yeah, we, yeah. Is that why she was fake smoking? I think she was fake smoking because she was just, that's what she does when she's mad. Okay, I was, because when I saw <laughs> her know. doing it, I, I couldn't tell it wasn't Are a cigarette. Yeah, I'm like, I didn't know she's smoking. He was like, you fake smoking? 
And then he came over there and did it with her, right? Put your cigarette down. That's probably what she wanted to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then she was kind of like, no, I'm not, we're not going to have to. We're not throwing down in this. Well, uh, yeah, because he, try, he tried to talk to her or whatever. And then he was just like, basically, you're going to have to accept what this is or whatever. Yeah. And she just looked at him. Mm -hmm. Black woman look. <laughs> and then she was just like, walked off. And then, what's her name? I, I, I forget her name, but he called her. And then he was like, she was like, I am not. I love her. Oh my gosh, I love She's like, I'm not about to throw down with you in an adoption parking lot. And walked <laughs> off. He was like, dang, I done messed up. Sleeping on the couch tonight, bro. Mm -hmm. So, then, um, what happened? She, he went to go. Oh, so, went, we got to mention this part. We didn't mention this part. This is important. Who narrated the whole episode? His father did. Yeah, we didn't even say that. But, but it was the poems that he wrote to him. Yeah. When he, I guess before he ever really met him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that that played a big part, and I know you said you wanted to watch watch it again to, to link listen. everything together. Yeah. Oh, let me say this before we go on. Last season, when it started, it was so many because this is like one of those shows that you got to watch and pay every little detail too because mm -hmm. you got to link everything together it was so much stuff that i didn't catch that this woman caught so that's why i was like all right okay. we gotta Don't do reviews it. and unfortunately we didn't get to do like reviews last season so that's why you probably hear us referring back to last season at certain times and stuff too yeah so anyway um yeah so basically he was narrating the whole um entire episode with the poems and stuff so mm -hmm. you think that relates like to like what they're going through now i think so i think the poems that he wrote even though he wrote them back then for randall is going to apply into this season so that's why i'm going to go back and just kind of listen because i think i missed a couple of key things while he was narrating yeah and talking so i definitely want to yeah. Watch it again. And so, where did we leave? Oh, with Randall and then Randall, yeah. he went to his mom. Yeah. So, what did he go ask her? Basically, you know, why she, um, I think why they adopted him. Or, yeah, or did he want to at oh, first? Oh, did she And did he she knew want it to? was a bullcrap story because she was, he was like, or she said, I knew from the moment I saw you. He was like, okay, I know the same story or whatever, like, really. Mm -hmm. what happened and give then, me the real he must and then know she what was, really went on exactly and she, she was like so. it's complicated he was he was calling her out all the way i was living for it yeah he was like that's what people say when they don't want to tell the truth so she kind of looked like all right let me stop playing around telling the truth so she basically told him that she didn't want to do it at first but the father talked them into it talked her into it or whatever mm -hmm. so then i guess it kind of made it look made him look at his situation with his wife where his, he's looking like dang i'm like my father where I want to do it so bad, and she's like my mom, where she didn't really want to. Yeah. Yeah. So then I think she said something about uh, that his father wasn't like perfect. They didn't have the best marriage, but they made the best of it. Yeah, and they, no marriage is perfect and stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I guess having a heart to heart with his mother helped him to realize how he needed to take an approach to it mm -hmm. to where it was kind of like okay maybe i shouldn't push as much um and then that's when he said you know we're we're um imperfectly perfect together and uh you know he basically told her was telling her you know if you don't want to do this i'm not going to make you do it but, but he told her my mom said ain't no such thing as no perfect marriage that's what I disagree with. He said, we perfect. And I couldn't agree more. I love them together. <laughs> I love them. I mean, they have their moments, but their communication is everything. And that is really important in a marriage relationship, whatever. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah, he went to go talk to her. Yeah, so having that. And remember last season, he didn't want anything to do with his mother after he found out that she kept him away from his biological father. So, for him to be, like, talking to her now and, you know, 
kind of calling her out on things. It's kind of like, Mom, I still love you, but you got to really start being real with me. You I'm really a grown have man. to start talking. I ain't talking. a little boy no more. Tell me the truth. Yeah, so I'm wondering how much more stuff she held back from him. So We're going to find out. We we'll never know out. with this show. Mm. Everything come out. Well. Well. <laughs> so, then, um. Well, talking with his wife. Um, when they went to the park, because she got the um, the book um, that his father had wrote to him. She got that bound, like leather bound it and everything, and put in the, um, what you call it, the, uh, the poem. Okay. She had that leather bound it, and that's when she told him that the, that was the park that his father enjoyed going to. So that shows you that even though she wasn't crazy about having his father living with them they got very close yes they did they got very close because at know. first she didn't trust him at first like that you didn't either no i was like i don't trust this dude now nah. but then the more the story went on it was like okay mm -hmm. so now we're learning a little more about him mm -hmm. but um and then while they were sitting in the park one of the things that she thought of was why should we start out with a brand new baby she was like, that could have been you or something. Yeah, where she pointed that to the young boy that was sitting in the park with the other guys drinking. Right. She was like, you know, that could have been you. So why not we get somebody that's a little older? And it could also be because they're getting a little older, you know. Mm. It could be like, I don't really... Not to say that they don't want to start young, but it could be like, no, we can't do this again. Let's just that. let's just help somebody else that's, you know, a young person that's... Um, older older that may have lost their way let's see if we can help them guide them Ooh, to their way so that's gonna be tough but yeah they can do it yeah yeah they're 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 a pretty strong power couple mm -hmm. um and, and that, then oh, oh go ahead mm -hmm. that was about the end of the game. oh then it takes us to the transition of rebecca and their father what is his name oh, um, I don't really know the man's name. I can't remember it right now. Wait, the the father. Oh my gosh, you got the tip of my tongue. Cause he's like the best man ever. We can't think about it. Pearson. Anyway. <laughs> That's what Rebe we call Rebecca him. and Pearson. Dang, um, this is horrible. They uh, it takes you back to where Rebecca was driving to the house, and um, she went to the door and she was talking to him. And she was like, you know, you need to come home. Because remember, they went and they talked to the kids to let them know that they had, like, broken up. They were like, except they, yeah, that hurt them and so bad. Yeah, they, they weren't, they weren't, they were happy, they weren't happy at all about it, you know. They just kind of, like, walked out. And Jack Pearson. Jack. Rebecca and Jack. So, they, um, you know, she, Rebecca went to go see Jack at Miguel's house. And... You know, she told him that he needed to come home, that they were going to work things out. And that's when he told her then that, he, like, he had an alcohol problem. He's had it for mm -hmm. years. I mean, he hid it from everyone. But then he was like, this is something I had to do on my own. And he shut the door. And, like, mm -hmm. a couple seconds later, you know, knock, knock, knock. And she's at the door. And she's like, no, you're coming with me because we're going to work on it. So even then, even though the marriage wasn't perfect and he had issues with alcohol and everything, she was still willing to work with him then. Mm -hmm. So, um, I love that. You know, so it shows him getting in the car. They get in the car, and as they're driving, it's like it transitions. I think the transition happened so fast, I didn't really pick up on it. But you notice that she was then wearing like a steel shirt. Okay. She was in the car by herself. And right then, at that point, I was like, oh, I said, this is probably, they're probably going to show maybe how he died or mm -hmm. something. They're all going up there and paying down to the seat and she had like his belongings, his rings, his wallets yeah. and stuff in the seat. I then when she that. pulled up, because at some point in the episode, I can't remember, they were at their house, they showed their uh, mailbox mm -hmm. and it said that. Pearson. Mm -hmm. So at the end, when she pulled back up in front of the house, they showed the mailbox again, it said Pearson and then the burnt house. Mm -hmm. So now we're trying to, we're, we got to wait to find out was he still having an alcohol issue to where he passed out, went to sleep, something electrical went wrong, and he never woke up yeah. to get out? Or was he just that drunk that he ended up causing that fire in the house? But the good thing was that nobody else was home at the time. So, 
Yeah, and then Kevin, they showed him as a teenager with, like, the cast or something. Yeah, he ended up breaking, like, he broke his leg or something. So that has to probably, that probably has something to do with, and one of the things you got to pay attention to, when they show fine details like that, like, mm -hmm. why would you pan down to the cast leg? Okay, so what exactly happened and how is it linked with them? Mm -hmm. So those are, like, the little fine details you want to pay attention to and check them out. Right. And then I don't know who that girl was with Randall, the redhead girl. Yeah, yeah. So we have to find out where she came from. And that's yeah. probably how Rebecca and Miguel ended up together. Because he was living with him. Yeah, it looked like they ended up, like, well, being at the, at his house. So I'm thinking maybe they moved in with him. The kids, too? Well, it looked like it. At the end? Yeah. You so. think the kids moved in? They probably were with Miguel because they didn't have nowhere else to move. Oh, right. So, only time will tell. I don't even know how many more see how and many it's episodes. It's crazy how it all um, linked together when, um, well, I guess it's like flashback when he was like talking to, when Kevin was talking to Toby, he was like basically explaining how close him and Kate was, and he was saying how he was, she was like um, the one who told him. That their, their father, father died, died. Then it showed them as kids with yeah. Kate, Randall, and whoever this red haired girl is. I guess we'll find out later who she is. Mm -hmm. Where she was like, she looked at Randall. She was like, I have to tell Kevin mm -hmm. or whatever. So yeah, some fine details you gotta pay attention I to. I think that sums up basically the whole episode. So the next so episode one, season two of season two. Let me see. Um, The next episode, oh wait, this season, this season, I'm going to get through. The next episode. A Manny Splendor thing. Mm. So this is going to be focused on. Kevin. Right. So that's Because he wasn't Kevin's really focused episode. on it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. That's our first review of season two. This show episode is one. so good. This is us. I love it. It is so good and it's so well written. It is hard to me to write a show and keep it going and keep my interest and stuff because I don't know. It's gotta have a good. It, the thing is, it's gotta it have a good storyline. Mm -hmm. And the way you write it, mm -hmm. it's all about how you write it. And the way they write it, it keeps you wanting to know what's gonna happen next. Because yeah. somebody can tell you, oh yeah, they adopted this child or whatever, and then the father died, and then the real father came along, and woo woo woo, boom. But no, it's the way it's written. Mm -hmm that makes it so interesting or whatever. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of How to Get Away with Murder. They, that show is written so well. I know you don't watch that show, but that's one of my favorite shows. It's written so well. So well. All right, so that concludes the end. The end. That concludes the end. The end of season, the, the end of our review for season two, episode one. Yeah. I'm, the Fathers. I'm Takira and this is Tia signing what? off. I'm Takira. Bye. See you for season. I mean, episode two, two of next week. Season two next week. Bye.